Seriously, what the fuck just happened? I mean, even I were just fine yesterday. <sighs> Jackson doesn't usually bother her. I mean, not that much. I mean, he can be kind of an ass, but that's, that's part of his charm, you know? <sighs> See, this is why I'm bad with women. I never know what the hell to say or what the rules are. I just... Jesus, how do I fix this? What the hell do you want? I saw what happened. I just want to talk? Go away. You know I would, but I can tell you're having a rough time with all of this. Keen eye there, Dr. Phil. Look, I'm just trying to help. I don't want your help. It's not what it looks like from here. Look, Dan seems like a nice guy. You know, let me just stop you and say that you're not doing yourself or him or me any favors. I'm not trying to do myself any favors. I'm trying to help you, queen fucking pity party. What if you lose Dan over this? There's plenty of shit in the ocean or something. Yeah, that may be true, but given your dating history, you may want to hold on to this one. Or at least dump him over something he actually did. I mean, he's literally like the first guy you've dated who could be considered even remotely stable. That's not even close to true. Oh, really? Flashback. Did I ever tell you you were fine as hell? Yeah, like six times now? I think it kind of loses its effect after three. Is your name Angela? Because you look like you came from heaven. Nope, it's still Eve. Weird. Because you, you look, look like, like an, an angel. angel. Yeah. Hmm. Can't wait to break me off a piece of that. Okay, I think we're done here. <laughs> okay, one or two bad dates doesn't make it a pattern. Everyone has dates they hated. Oh, really? Flashback two. So you, you say you're from around here? Yeah? Um, do you live in, in the city or outside the city? Not around any schools. That's good, I guess. So, you look a lot different from your profile picture on, on Match. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't even know it was you when I walked in the restaurant. Um, the old, it's an old picture. Oh yeah, yeah. I use old pictures too sometimes, so. Um, what are your, some of your hobbies? C craft. Oh, I love crafts, yeah. Mm. Yeah. I, <clears throat> I, I made, bought, this for you. It's oh. a special one. What is it? Drink. Drink? Uh, it almost looks like it's been opened. <laughs> mm -mm. No? Mm -mm. Oh, okay. Um, I'm allergic to a lot of things, so I'll probably just order some water. This is good. Yeah, I'm sure it is. 
Um, I'll, just, I'll look at it, see if, there's not really any ingredients or anything on it. <laughs> this is special, they can't talk about it. Yeah, um, you're crazy. <laughs> okay, I picked some real winners, I get it. No, wait, but I had one more I really wanted to do. So, you're ready to order? Really? I'll have you know that that gnome turned out to be very sweet and interesting. Uh huh. Look, I don't know what business it is of yours at all. You lost the right to give me any advice when you stab me in the back. If I stay with Dan, it won't be just because he's the best I can do. But just shut the hell up. If you like Dan so much, you take him. It's certainly your M.O. Just leave me the hell alone. Hey, Nikki. Oh, hey, Danny boy. Heard you're having a rough night. Yeah. Well, it's bound to happen. Wait, what? Nothing. Okay. What can I do for you? I was hoping you'd talk to Eve for me. No way! Fuck no, bitch. No chance. Why not? Because I'm not your fucking messenger. And if you and Evie break up, it doesn't affect my world one iota. Yeah, but... No, look, listen, Dan. I think you're a great guy and everything. I like you. I think you and Evie are good together. But I don't feel like engaging in a totally fruitless pursuit. Fruitless? Yeah, listen. Eve is her own person, free will and everything. Even if I could convince her to get back with you, which isn't likely because this isn't the fucking movies, it wouldn't be her choice. It would be because her friends pressured her. That would at most buy you two weeks. Is that how you want this to go? No, I guess not. Damn right. Look, I know where you're coming from. I really do. But talking to Eve's friends instead of Eve is a little middle school. If you want to talk to her, talk to her. If you want her back, let her know and let her make the damn decision on her own, okay? Yeah, I guess you're right. Take care. Catch you later. Fucking hopeless. Jeez, fucking buzzkill, man. Yeah. It's like he's never had anyone throw darts at his picture before. <laughs> really? Fuck him, baby. Yeah, right? Fuck you, Evan. Fuck you, Jackson. Go fuck yourselves. Fuck is this problem? Guy's on the rag. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Daniel. Hey, Evan. What are you looking so glum about? Yeah, who's shitting your Wheaties? Really? What? Wheaties? What is this, 1992? Well, fuck you, Wheaties are awesome. Anyway, back to my original question. No, I just talked with Nikki. Oh, still pining over Eve? Uh, yeah, still pining over uh, tits. Still, it's been like 10 minutes. So, just, there are other fish in the sea. Yeah, there are plenty of other fish to have sex with. <laughs> All right, you've had enough, buddy. Oh, don't tell me when I've had enough, mom. <laughs> I don't want other fish. I want Eve. <laughs> now who's sounding cliche? Look, maybe the relationship has run its course and it's time for you to just move on, you know? Collect what little pride you have and be thankful for the memories and fucking move on. Yeah, man. Just be thankful you're not a virgin anymore. You know, I wasn't a virgin when I met Eve. Whatever. <laughs> we all know you weren't hooking up in high school. And from what I hear, you didn't fare any better in college, isn't that right, isn't that right? <laughs> what? I get chatty when I drink. I totally hooked up in college. What? With who? Cindy <coughs> Jenkins. <coughs> Whom? Cindy Jenkins. What?
Oh, Daniel. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, wait, wait, no. Ow, 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 ow. What? What did I do? No, it's, no, no. It's okay. Don't, don't worry about it. Just, if you could just, just shift a bit. Yeah. What, right here? Yeah. Oh, wait, no, no. If you could just, ow, ow. Fuck. What is it? What happened? How did you? That was my ear. I am sorry. I am yeah. so... Yeah, uh, no. So sorry. We're... we're done. Dude, that totally counts. <laughs> Whatever. Shit. <laughs> what? What in God's name do you want? What? That's... Uh... I don't people think I'm crazy, but I'm trying to get help. I am. I was just hoping to get inspirational words from a man of God. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I shouldn't have snapped. It, it, it's just that I'm not used to being in a place like this. You know, it could be considered sacrilege to hold a wedding in a bar. But God sends us where we are needed and introduces us to people in need. So again, I'm sorry. It's okay. Pussy full of wieners? What? Hot dogs in a cat basket. I see. <laughs> Clever wordplay, if rather crude, but still, I, I, I think I will have one. Ah. Hmm, they're delicious. Isn't it? Now, you pass on doing the ceremony, and I'll give you the antidote. What antidote? To the poison you just ate. But, what? Why? <laughs> they think I'm crazy. They're the crazy ones. I'm perfectly sane. Everyone else is crazy. I'm so sane that I'm going to officiate a wedding in a bar. The wedding is mine. Mine, I say. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna toast. I'm gonna do the toast, okay. and and Wayne, you're gonna like this one. You're gonna like it a lot. Hold them up. Hold them up. To impenetrable minds. Mm. Right? Yeah. Hey. And getting laid. <laughs>